Good morning. We're looking at Psalm 91 and we're looking at verse 4. Verse 4 that says, He shall cover, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So yesterday morning we were looking at some comments about this verse and um, his truth and faithfulness protect us as we claim his promises and obey him. The shield here is the large shield that covers the whole person. His truth shall be thy shield. Isn't that amazing? This shield is the large shield that covers the whole person. The Hebrew word for shield means to go around entirely. So the message is clear that those who abide in the Lord are safe. God's servants, this commentary says, are immortal until their work is done. Oh, that was just wonderful for me. God's people are immortal until their work is done. God protects believers with the greatest tenderness and affection, which is intimated in that he shall cover thee with his feathers under his wings, which alludes to the hen gathering her chickens under wings by natural instinct. The hen not only protects them, but calls them under that protection when she sees them in danger, not only keeps them safe, but cherishes and keeps them warm. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. He shall cover you with his feathers as a parent bird protects its young. And his truth is his unfailing promises. Jesus says in John 17, Father, thy word is truth. And his word is full of his promises, full of his promises of all of his goodness, of, all, and we, of which protection and comfort and him being a shield and having us under his feathers and under his wings is one of marvelous things. His, un, his truth is his unfailing promise. The certainty that what he has promised to do, he will perform. So his truth shall be your shield and buckler. His truth, when it's revealed to you, revelation comes to you from his word, from the scriptures. That truth contains promises for all times and circumstances. In his word, which is truth, are promises for everything you may ever need a promise for. And these are invariably fulfilled to him that trusts in the Lord. The fulfillment of a promise is relative to defense and support is to the soul what the best shield is to the body. So the shield and buckler is his truth. The meaning is that his pledge or promise would be unto us as the shield of the soldier is to him in battle. The word buckler is derived, as I've said to you before, from a verb to surround and given to the defensive armor here referred to because it surrounds and thus protects a person. And that is a wonderful promise about his word. So he shall cover you with his feathers as the parent bird protects its young. His truth, his unfailing promise, the certainty that what he has promised to do, he will perform. His shield and buckler is his truth. His pledge and promise unto us as the shield of the soldier is to him in battle. He surrounds us. Be surrounded today by the promises that you find in his word for any situation that you may be in or any circumstance that may threaten or come against you. Have a wonderful day to all the listeners here.